All right, YouTube, here we, here we go real quick. I uh, got the, uh, got that, uh, yeah, y'all see Super C in the background there. Covered up, winterized, all that good stuff. Uh, we're coming out of winter. They say spring started a couple days ago. I can't tell because it's still cold. It's uh, a little chilly. Uh, we don't really expect that in Texas, so uh, we got a little chilly. But anyway, we're coming to you with that show chrome joint. Um, got the ballistic driver back backrest for the Can-Am Riker. I'm gonna get this uh, package open and show y'all how to actually just quickly. I'm just out here next to mine since I already did mine as a point of reference if I don't remember everything and how it goes, but I do. So anyway, we're gonna uh, get the box open. Uh, the uh, passenger is um, pretty easy driver as well this piece here this is the piece that goes under your driver's seat it will sit straight up like that these two are for the seat the screws that are under your driver's seat where you lift the clamshell um i'll show you that one day if you don't know what i'm talking about but uh look up a video on look lifting the clamshell um several of us have videos on those but these two because it's going to sit under your under your rear seat just like this i'm gonna go over to my bike so you can see the reference point but these two screws here um uh, will screw in should have yeah has uh spacers and bolts on the other side so that you can um lock that to your actual seat to the frame under your under your seat and then these are your your adjustments you put your I have my two screws, I think, here and here, or you can put them here and here, um, depending on how high you want your seat to be. Um, I base it off my passenger as well. Um, in their height, I'm the tallest I've seen on my bike, but anyway, um, that's piece one. Uh, and they've done you a favor, and I already have piece two put together for you. So on your passenger seat, boom, you got your two these two screws here is for an adjustment bracket. There's an adjustment bracket inside there, this little piece here. And that allows your groove of your seat to hit however you want it. If you want it at an angle, you'll adjust that and that'll raise this up so it'll hit more of an angle depending on how you sit on your seat. Um, this can be adjusted, which I am going to go ahead and adjust and put it on the two middle I'm going to take it up. Actually, my brother's about tall as me, so we're going to give him some back support. We're going to take, and this is the exact size. I know I have my um, my little torque wrenches here. This is a number four. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and adjust these. I got a ratchet and torch set, torch set over there, but I'm not going to use that. This is simple. Like I say, it's quick. It doesn't take long. Uh, like I say, all I'm doing right here is making the adjustment for height. Pop these two screws. It's a screw and washer on each one. I'm gonna pop these out right quick. As you heard, it fall already. So this little bracket right here, you'll notice because the numbers are here. It goes on the outside. So, so when I say outside, I meant this. This is the, the outside. But you're going to put that inside of the bracket. That's where you want that. It's going to sit just like that. So you see. Boom. So I'm going to drop this first screw back in. And you see we've taken that up. Once I do this one. I'll put the bracket on the seat. And you'll see. It's simple and easy. Shouldn't take you no more than 10 minutes to, to do this. As you'll see from the length of this video. Uh, while we in between there, let's pause for station identification. Like, comment, subscribe, see Jones Customs. I got a million different topics and videos from guns to these Rikers to pilot cars, uh, different businesses, different things, different ventures like that. Um, but definitely like, comment, subscribe. We'll keep things going. <laughs> we got dash cam videos, uh, some good, some bad. But as you see right here, back to the show chrome, if we're sitting... You're sitting straight on the bike like this. I'm going to take this piece so you can see 
these pieces where you see them on my bike. So behind the seat there, if he's sitting straight up like this, you're gonna see this back bracket. So pay attention to these. I'm gonna show you this bracket and remember this bracket I was telling you about because this is gonna sit on there underneath your seat just like that. And it's gonna raise up. It's gonna be just like that. So we'll probably adjust his angle because once you get on there and you'll see how these should be free motion you should have a lot more free motion in them so i'm going to loosen these brackets it's new they should have a lot more free motion instead of me having to put a little strength to get it so i'm gonna loosen these these um these brackets just a a hair so you'll see the difference there let me take that up to a number five this one here. So we got number five. I'm gonna flip my, my wrench there. Just do a slight loosening. So that's that's all I had to do. See that? Major difference. That's what you want. You know, some you I want my seat to drop when I ain't on it. You know what I mean? I can have this just a little tighter so it just doesn't do that, which is what I'm gonna do. But, let me flip that. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, see? So you want your seat to, I mean, you want it to be functional and be free flowing, smooth. So instead of you struggling to get it. So that's those couple things. So I'm gonna go to the back of the bike over here. Just as a quick reference for you guys, I'm gonna point some things out as we sit under here. All right, so you see, this is that bracket. You got a spacer there. Those are the nuts that go there. Your frame to the bike. The other part of that bracket you got, this is the two screws that go up here. So you'll see how that bracket comes through. You can make your adjustments. See how free flowing that is? You want it free flowing. That's exactly how you want it. You want it to do that. So that's that passenger seat already done. I'm gonna take you and show you those there in the garage. Once I get the bike over here, I'll put this bracket on. I'll put this bracket on, drop the two screws. I think I got them in the bottom too, so that it drops. But anyway, all you have to do is loosen those two and that seat will slide straight up and out if you don't want the uh, support, if you don't want the back support there on you. Like I said, you got those two screws there. So we're gonna go back over here so you can get another glimpse. This is that exact bracket, y'all. This is that exact bracket. That's what we just left. The two side screws, those two will be under the seat that will keep your seat down with the clamshell. And there you have it. So. I'm not gonna take all of this apart because this is basically it. I'm gonna put the seat on and that will be all she wrote for the day and we'll come back when I have the bike in front of me. And that way we do a simple one piece. So this is the new ballistic seat, nice cushion there. As you know, you zip, you can zip, un unzip, check your pad and change your pad and all that good stuff. So they already put your bracket on here. And that bracket is gonna go right in there. It's gonna go right in there. So then that seat will do just like mine is doing over there. It'll lay down, it'll stand up, do all of those things. So let me get this one bolt out of here. We'll drop that on there, and then I'll come back. Uh, I should have had a bike with me this weekend, so I'll um, I'll come back and uh, knock that out. And we'll talk about these spacers that go underneath the bike with the um, to lock on this this main bracket for the passenger. I mean, for the driver. I mean, so let me find that interlocking washer it's just this one bolt right here everything else is for the frame and underneath the bike which will take care 
of when I have the bike in front of me. So there you go there. Let's see, I'm gonna lock those down, keep them there, keep that in there. Nice, awesome looking show chrome bag that your, that your backrest comes in. So that's it. I got the washer. And the nut. Drop this on there and tighten and make sure it's still free flowing. If you can't see, here we go. So you're just putting that screw through. Boom. Come out on the other side. I'm gonna drop the washer on there. Grab my tools real quick and just put a little, little soft tighten on there. We'll go back to this four. That's a five there. Go back to the four on the Torx. And as you see, so you got plenty of free motion there. That's what I love. Like I say, that see the flip up so you can get on the bike. It can be down when you're not on the bike. You know what I mean? So it's great, great customization there. Like as far as these parts go, like I say, I'm gonna tighten that up so it's not as loose like that. Still gonna be free flowing, but just gonna put a little tightening on it slightly. Ah, that is a number five I need. Okay, the four was on the other one. The four was on the smaller brackets. All right, back to number five. The wind blowing, man, it's about 40 degrees out here. Chilly. Flip that over. See what I'm doing here. I'm just tightening, tightening up the bolt a little bit. That should do it. Just a little nudge. Don't want it, you know, extremely tight. I'll be able to still wiggle. So if that's me, finna sit on the bike. Boom, I can let my seat up. And now, see, I'm gonna give it a little more wiggle room. Cause I got a little stiff. I don't want it that stiff. You may want yours that stiff. Yeah, when you think about it, that won't hurt. But I still like it a little more free flowing. But anyway, that's what we have when it comes to the to the backrest. And that's exactly what you just saw when it comes to the uh, driver and passenger backrest. Um, so I'm gonna put these together back out here in my garage, get them ready for when I get the bike out here this weekend. And that's it, that's all she wrote. So seeing that, Understand how easy that was. Keep these instructions. Yeah, I got all that. So yeah, everything's ready to be installed on the bike. Take these. I need to put them back in this package. But walking on the other side to the garage, I got everything in a couple of different places. But Super C is about to hit the scene. Cause I'm not a cold bike rider. So <laughs> for those that say that's not a real bike rider, then okay, I ain't a real bike rider. Call me with one. I don't want to ride the cold. I have allergies. I like the, the warmth. And that's what I'm gonna ride when it's warm. So you'll see right here, let me put these two together. I'm gonna just set that, set that there. So I can come on this other side here. So y'all can see driver and passenger. So uh, Show Chrome really did their thing with the red stitching because it matches the comfort seat as you see. And then boom, there go the rear. But yeah, that's what we got. We got driver and passenger. They will be installed this weekend. I'll give you the actual video there, but I wanted to show you how you um, put your actual backrest on these brackets before you install them on the seat. The uh, 
This passenger one is all the way done. Boom, it'll sit there, but it'll be stable when I put it on the bike. But it's the main bracket there. You mount that to the underneath. And then the same way I told you these brackets go like they did, they're the same as far as there. Uh, so that's what we got. C. Jones Customs, I'm in this box so y'all can see, show Chrome, Let me show y'all. Uh, not an ambassador or brand ambassador or anything for show Chrome, but I do love their products. Goes great on your Rikers. Check their website out. Like I say, everything that comes in the box, they give you very detailed instructions. All these things here are on my bike. My brother is new. His bike is still new. So I'm doing the installs on heels. Same thing I've already done. So it comes pretty quick and natural. But that's what we got. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Um, who knows? Like, comment, and subscribe. Let's keep it going. We've got a huge Riker community these days. So that's something we can learn from each other. If you got a, a page. I'm sure I'll be checking you out, liking, commenting, making making the subscription as well. So that's how I do that for each other. Keep the keep the community going because that's how we can learn things that we don't know. Um, that's all I got for now when it comes to these two. I got more topics, more things coming along. For those of you that have the faulty fuel pumps that, that didn't want to go to the dealership or you're out of warranty, um, <laughs> that's going to be my next video. I got a fuel pump I'm going to install on mine. Um, I think I'm still under warranty. I know I'm still under warranty, but I already paid the bike off and did everything like that. So all I'm going to do is install my own. Beth has an awesome video out there, step-by-step -step installation. Should take 30, 45 minutes, hour, hour and a half if you're not savvy with anything at all. But uh, I'll be doing a video here shortly. And uh, that's what we got. So for now, that's what we got. We came, we saw, we conquered. Quick install of the brackets and we'll be back with more when it comes to these rikers it's riding season c jones customs out